Hey guys, it's Nora's it here, and first off, I want to say I'm very, very sorry about the lack of um, the Exorcist uploads. Turns out that my recording glitched, and I could no, and it started to record empty videos, so there was nothing left to upload. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, I had a whole nine episodes you guys could watch, including the four that actually went up. Usually it will automatically stop recording, but this time I guess it didn't. Um, so now we're playing my mystic my mystic romance, I think. Oh that that's weird. Okay, um Okay. Um, we're just gonna go in with Scarlet. I don't I don't know if Scarlet Acid will fit. Yes. But yeah, um, you can go and watch someone else play it if you want to, but I, I won't be able to do any more Exorcist. Sally. Prologue! I wonder how all this happened. It landed on my premise, which means I have every right to keep it. Ru- Rusia? Rusha? I'm gonna call you Rusha. What's this thing? Oh. Okay. Um, you need a good princely voice. It landed on my premise, which means I have, means I have every right to keep it. How could you let a stranger here without asking none of us in the first place? My lords, if I may, we cannot find a right for one for, well, for this. Our law in, in dictates the founder shall keep it. Like a hidden treasure. Oh, this is Levi. This is clearly not a hidden treasure. Meffy. Oh, you're kind of cute. <laughs> I'm your gimme. Then let's just pretend this is a delightful addition to the family, like a puppy. Meffy, you're talking about a total stranger. Not only a stranger, but a human. Um, silence. I found it and I shall keep it. No further discussion. As you wish, my lord. Came? Kaim? Kaim. I'm calling you Kaim. <laughs> Probably all wrong, but I don't care. We need to recalculate inventory, including food. I need to recalculate inventory, including food supply. And everything else from the start. Oh my god, I want you. You, you can't see it, but I, I have a very nice smile on my face. Crut. Sakain, let me help you with that. You do know I do not forgive any mistakes, right? Yes, yes sir. Of course. Oswald. Aww. <laughs> Shall we all give her a tour around the place then? Ah, uh, yes. She must know we're... Where are the prohibitors and all? If Lord Rusha permits? Alright, you follow them. They will give you a tour around the house. Uh, okay. The men around me were all staring at me, as if I was an animal at the zoo. Which is understandable, since I was told extremely, I was extremely rare and unique here in this world. This can't be happening. Please, someone tell me I'm dreaming. Look back what happened yesterday and tried to make sense out of it. I was walking back home from work as usual, okay, so I'm at least old enough to have a job. My steps were heavy since I was completely exhausted from having a particularly hard day at work. And the guy I've been dating just texted at me after a couple of disappointing dates. I never thought my own life could be so disappointing. Wow. A red moon. How weirdly beautiful. The mysterious view of the red moon made the whole world around me look surreal. Whoa, wait, what? Suddenly, I felt this funny feeling around my feet. I looked down and found my right foot was stepping into a puddle in front of me. And the puddle grew bigger to a gigantic black hole and was allowed to swallow my entire body. What's happening? Oh no, I'm falling. Oh my. Squelch. Ugh. No. Please, somebody help me. You're fine. 
You'll be fine. I must have passed out for a while. I woke and found myself lying in a garden. Where am I? Hey, what are you doing here? Wait, are you... Who is this guy? Why are you staring at me like that? Hmm, interesting. You, what is your name? Huh? I asked your name. It's Scarlet. Hmm, Scarlet? It's quite odd for a name. You shut up! Excuse me? I'm Rusha. Can you get up? Uh, yes, of course, I guess. Oh, the uh, music cut out. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you guys can hear the music now, but it's a nice little music. The guy who introduced himself as Rusha took my hand to help me to get up. Ouch! What is it? Are you hurt? I... I don't know. My head hurts. I feel a little woozy. Why? Because you're in love with him. His beautiful red hair. My favorite color is red, in case you, in case you didn't know. And she stared at me for a while, and then suddenly, it lifted me up in the air. Wait, what are you doing? You're feeling sense, since I'm helping. Stay still and keep your mouth closed. Hi, Rusha. <laughs> Don't worry, you're under my protection. Protection? From what? He put me over his shoulder like a potato sack and started walking away. Well, oh, come on, the least you can do is carry me bridal style. What is happening? He's taking me to somewhere, and he's treating me like a bag of potatoes. Lord Rusha. Ah. Kaim. I turned my head around to see he was calling from behind. A man with a deep, violet-colored hair was running towards us. Who do you have on your shoulder this time, my lord? Oh, <laughs> you're like a pirate prince. <laughs> Guess what? I found a human, a real one, and she's going to live with us. What? Wait a second, you just said to live with us? Wait, wait a second, stop! What do you mean by that? I never said to live with you. Well, too bad. I'm the master of this place and have every right, every right of the things lying around. In this case, you are the thing lying here. Huh? But wait a sec. Uh, no. My own voice makes my headache. Wish a frown after quickly glancing at my face. Kaim, she's not feeling well. Prepare a resting place for her. The man, which called him Kaim, looked at me and nodded. What, is he staring at me? If you wish, my lord. Please, come this way. I will, I will prepare a room for her. Where are you taking me? Hey, answer me or I'll scream. Where? To my place, of course, I told you. You're living with us from now on. I must be dreaming. This can't be happening. Please, hear me out! Ah, seriously, what's wrong with my head? It hurts quite bad. You should frown again. You better stay still. We will get you to a comfortable soon. To come to a comfortable room. You, you, you like it. You must be joking. It's not funny. I don't joke. This is a lot of, like, text adventure. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this is like a dating sim type thing. I wanted to look at it, check it out. Because I was bound with it over on a game I played off YouTube. I was led to a dimly lit room somewhere in, somewhere in a gigantic mirror. Manor. And was dropped onto a huge bed in it. Then I must then I must have blacked out. Again. Oh, now the headache is gone. And also, not so nauseated anymore. As I was feeling better... I started realizing the situation I was in. Where am I? It looks like an awfully big house. The furniture and the walls, everything looks a bit odd. So did the people I just met. Where on earth am I? I don't remember seeing this kind of place in the neighborhood. All those thoughts were going through my mind at the same time. Knock, knock. Excuse me, may I come in? Oh, yes, please do. Um, was his name? Kime, was it? How are you feeling? Here, yeah, I made you some tea. Please call me kind. I'm the butler here, so if you need anything, let me know. Ah, thank you. I tried to get up to kick up in his hand, but... Oh, I might be still feeling a little sick. 
Are you alright? Um, not exactly. And suddenly I felt Kaim's cool and slim fingers on my forehead. You don't seem to have a fever. Um... His face is run for mine. Too close. I was less startled by his sudden touch. My heart started pounding when he leaned in and looked right into my eyes. What is it? What is what? Well, since you're staring at me, I thought there's something on my face, or... Ah, uh, forgive me, it's quite rare to be someone of your kind, so I couldn't help it. The music cut out again. Rare? What do you mean by rare? I've heard stories of humans before, but this is the first time to actually meet one. What? None of what he said, none of what he said makes any sense. What is he saying? He's never seen a person? This is so confusing. Everything is. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I understood you right. First of all, where am I exactly? This is the residence of Lord Rusha. Lord Rusha's residence. Oh, sorry. Lord Rusha's residence. Um, sorry. What I meant was the address. Mm. Well, um, I appreciate your help, but I beg going. I have work tomorrow. Said I, and got up. But kinds of your eyes were fixed on me. We may not allow you to leave. What? As long as Lord Rusha wishes to keep you here, you shall stay. Besides, if you don't mind me asking, how would you return home? How? Well, there must be some means, of course. You could call me a cab. Ah, I see. You've come here knowing nothing. Kaim smiled, but his eyes didn't. You are indeed interesting. Am I? Just then, the door swung open without a knock. Listen, Kaim, I knew it. It's written right here. The humans are... Ah, uh, you woke up. Are you feeling better already? I... well... Lord Rusha, it seems this lady did not understand her situation. I believe she did not even know we exist. Is it true? You didn't know we existed, the children of the night? Children of what? Children of the night? Children of the night? Guardians of the abyss? Never heard of it? Maybe demons? Sounds familiar? Apparently humans are insensitive and ignorant. How can you, how can you not sense the power we possess? Wait, wait, hold on a second. I don't think I'm following. What is all these demons and other nonsense? Maybe they're all deluded. This might be a huge, beautifully decorated asylum. I really should run. Lord Rusha, you may need to explain everything from the beginning. It won't take forever, but I guess there's no other option. Rusha sighed and sat down on the couch nearby. I'm going to make him kind of a childish, but, you know, respecting leader if I can. We'll see how it all develops. To make a long story short, we are in the Kingdom of Nightmare, a land ruled by the Great Lord of Nightmare. The kingdom is divided into two. One belonged to us, Children of the Night, and the other belonged to the Children of the Light. I am a child of night, a demon. Kind, too. And you are a human. Get it? Absolutely not. I doubt I ever will. I get it. Like, I actually do get it, sort of. You must have gone through the path of the Red Moon, haven't you? The what? The Red Moon. Does that sound familiar? The thing I saw! <laughs> what I do remember is, I was on my way home from work, and I saw the moon glowing red, and the memory suddenly all came back into my mind. The Red Moon was gleaming high up in the dark sky. sky. The moonlight so ominous. The ground suddenly got cracked, and swallowed me. I thought I passed out and had a strange dream, but are they saying that it wasn't a dream? Humans appear through the path of the red moon. It also says the path shall only reappear on the night of the red moon. We shall wave the book in his hand and smiled at me. There will be a red moon in about three months from now. We should be able to go home then. Ah, music's back. Well, I don't mind having you around forever, though. Or, you know, until I die. It's not like I find something so rare daily, you know. Lord Rusha, the lady's not your pet. Being so, being confused than ever, I shook my head. It was then that I found something outside the window. Dark sky had two moons. Two moons. But that's impossible. Well, anyway, that is all I can tell you. So all you have to do is stay calm and... Rusha! 
Selene Ma- Really? Music? Selene Man with sapphire colored hair came running in. Give me back my book this instant. Ah, Levi. Just when I wanted to see you. I was right in the middle of it. That... The man called Levi noticed me. He gave me an icy cold look. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't tell me she's a human. Wait, is she really? She is, and she'll be staying with us for a while. What? Are you out of your mind? Oh, right. Levi, why don't you show her show her around the residence? Come in, I need to discuss the situation. Another grown-up business, so off you go. Wait a second. Usha left the room with Kaim, leaving us behind. Uh, is it true that you will be living here? Perhaps. Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. For a while. So, you're one of the minus fellows who just let him to say what's good for them. Well, that's new. What? Of course not. I just... I had no choice. Is it two moons? What am I supposed to... What, what am I supposed to hear? What am I supposed to hear? I have no idea what that is supposed to say. I don't think the people who created this are quite fluent in English, but good enough to make proper sentences sometimes, most of the time. But leave out words. I have no place to go, and I know no one around here. Mm. Levi glared at me as he listened to me, almost whispering. For a second, I thought I saw something flick deep inside his eyes. Then, uh, Mr. Levi? Your name? It's Scarlet. Mm. Why does he keep staring at me? I wouldn't mind giving a quick tour around the residence. What? Oh, really? Thank you. I tried to stand up to follow Levi, who was still looking upset. I hurriedly climbed down the bed, nervously glancing at Levi, and... Whoa! I stumbled almost fell flat to the floor in front of Levi's eyes. Why should it matter? Uh, Levi's arms reached out and caught me in the air. Uh, thank you. I just wanted to thank him, but he shoved me off right away. Do not ever touch me. Excuse me? I could have wanted to. Forget about the tour. Listen carefully, human woman. You're not allowed to talk to me or come closer unless it's absolutely necessary. Also, keep yourself away from me. My room and the library. But, but books are in the library and I love books. As soon as he finished, he turned his back to me to leave the room. Um, excuse me? I said not to talk to me. He snapped and stormed out. What's wrong with him? I stood there in shock and bewilderment, staring at the door he left. And music's back. Ahaha, <laughs> someone's in a foul mood. Eh? Suddenly I heard a voice speaking t- to me. I didn't know where it was from, so I looked around. He's the younger brother of our, of our master, Rusha. Who are you? There are three of them. The only one is named Mephi. Okay, and you are? Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to startle you. Are you feeling alright? I heard the path of the red moon sometimes can make people sick. And you are... I am Luca. It's a great honor to meet you. Luca! Luca came inside and sat on the side of the window. Did I miss text? I think so. Excuse me for letting myself in without asking your permission. Um, well, it's okay. Where is this going this time? You look like you have no idea how you ended up here. I really don't. Well, I don't blame you for that. But there must be a reason why you are here. The reason is so important that the Red Moon allowed you to come through the path. I really have no idea. It's your destiny. You perhaps made a wish when you looked up at the red moon. I don't think I did. For instance, which wish to find your destiny? Oh. Music! I did. When I looked up at the moon, I briefly wished the mysterious force somehow would find me a place I truly belonged. Maybe I might have thought of something while I was looking at the moon, but... No, you definitely have. That is why the Red Moon showed you the path, to bring you to our side of the world. This is getting even more absurd. Are you a demon too? 
Not quite. I happen to be... Hi there. May I come in? You're an angel of this world, aren't you? The door to my room slowly opened. Nice to meet you, human lady. My name is Crut. It's the little Finland boy. Eep. Please, take those. I was told to bring you some clothes. Oh? Oh, is it a bit chilly to leave the windows open? Huh? I looked back at the window, but Luca was no longer there. How can you disappear like that? Please change to these and rest for tomorrow. I took the clothes from Crut's hand, still staring at the window. Far away from the land of darkness is the ru land ruled by the children of the light. A castle where all creatures of the world, called the Celestial Palace, was floating in the air. In the room of the palace. No. I need you. Please, I need you. Lord Mikal. Oh, I'm aware, Noel. An uninvited guest has entered our world. So it seems, my lord. If it doesn't just mean a little, what kind of being it would be? Picard, are they all white haired, little, and red eyed? Well, well. You of all people get interested in something, huh? Mm. Would you like to send someone to invite our guest to the palace? Not so fast, Noel. Mikhail laughed while his eyes fixed in the air. Apparently, something interesting might have might happen. It's been dull living turn living eternity without any event for so long. I hope you are not ruin this for your own entertainment. But how can I blame you even if we do? We've all been waiting. But the next morning, I had been cornered by almost all the members of the residence since I woke up. I finally managed to escape to the garden. With Crutch and Mr. Oswald, who was introduced to me as the gardener. Is that Oswald? So, the one and only Lord of Nightmare rules over both lands. The great lord is chosen in turns between the great lord is chosen in turns between us, the demons, and the children of the light. Our Lord Rusha is the first in line to the throne. The present Lord of Nightmare is what was his name again? Lord Benedict. Ah, yes, that's the one. As my mind was almost exploding with all the, the information from the two. I had to ask him to leave me alone for a while. Okay, I'm going to have to end this here. Oh, I'll stop at about 25 minutes. This is crazy. Beyond crazy. Can I ever go home? What if I can't? The words I heard from Luca last night still linger in my mind. Destiny. To find my destiny here. Huh. They're so crazy, even though I briefly wished for it. This is just insane. But if it's true, if I have to find my destiny here, what would that be? Hmm? Everything's black. Hmm? Ah, loading. But yeah, I'm so very sorry about the exorcist. Just know that much. Also, I'll be checking each record to make sure it, you know, does properly from here on out. Wait, I can only choose from these three? Proud of my love feels lonely at the top. Levi. Levi. No, it's not Levi from Attack on Titan, Madeline. And or Kine. Of course it's not Levi from Attack on Titan because he has the wrong hairstyle. I just saw the name Levi. I'm gonna go with Rusha, because he's red. Oh. Rusha the one? Yes. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to experiment with this, see what it was, and so far I kind of like it. It's a fun little game. It's kind of sad that there's only that, there's only like, Three people you can choose from from the entire cast that I've seen. I might do different playthroughs to get see what happens if I choose the other two, but that's only if you guys want me to. Oh.
I'm gonna stop this here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!